Welcome back to Open House NYC. What happens when you mix disco style with sexy French boudoir? A whimsical yet ultra stylish home designed by Sasha Baikoff. Take a look. Hi, I'm interior designer Sasha Baikoff and welcome to this apartment I designed on the Upper East Side. This apartment was inspired by the Parisian Belle Epoque and the Miami, New York City 1970s, 1980s disco era. I have so much I want to show you, so come on and let's take a look. Upon entering the foyer, the first thing that catches your eye is the black and white lacquered paint. I kept this entry in a neutral color palette to allow contrast in the other rooms that you're about to see. Let me show you. Here we are in the living room. In this open and airy space, I wanted to create something nostalgic of the past with whimsical details that bring it to the present. Tying back to my Parisian and 1970s disco inspiration, I paired a Milo Bauman serpentine sofa with 1950s Dorothy Draper Hollywood Regency chairs. These two juxtaposing styles lend for an eclectic taste and inspirational feel. And to tie in a more modern vibe, I custom made a Brazilian geode three-tier coffee table. The 24 karat gold leaf ceiling graciously guides you to the Baccarat chandelier majestically hanging over the dining area. The ultimate sense of whimsy is found in these 1970s Charles Hollis Jones dining chairs, which are upholstered in Fornicetti bohemian glass fabric. And to give homage to the old world, this Louis XIV vitrine is a great way to display accessories for entertaining. After entertaining, you're gonna wanna find a warm and cozy place to kick it back. Follow me. This is what we call the blue room. I wanted to make this room more masculine and stately while still keeping that French flair. I placed books around the bed to give the illusion of a study. While the silk damask found throughout the room makes you feel like you're in a Parisian hotel. I used English antique mirrors and dresser to help reflect the light of the 1970s blue Murano light fixture. All of these elements combined take you straight to the left bank of Paris. But all this blue is making me feel pink. Into the boudoir we go. When designing the master, it was a must for me to install this antique Venetian gold vein mirrored ceiling. I love it because it reminds me of Studio 54. And the gilded gold and pink velvet headboard with matching drapes reminds me of Marie Antoinette and Madame Pompadour. And they pair wonderfully with the mid-century Dorothy Draper nightstands and Renzo Rutili dresser. Front and center is this 1970s Murano floral chandelier, which pairs elegantly with the white silk Italian walls. But what's a boudoir without a place to do your makeup? The master dressing room. This room is adorned with all your favorite designer vintage perfume bottles. And when it becomes time to put on your makeup, the Austrian backlit mirror really makes you feel like a Parisian muse. When creating this space, I wanted to be transported out of New York City and into an inspiring past. Au revoir and merci beaucoup.